Hey Gospel Guitarist here and, and this video is just about building your own studio equipment and uh, studio furniture to be specific. What I have here is my homemade two-level MIDI pedal board which I built out of 2x6 and 2x4 uh, wood and I put the velcro on and so these are all velcro down and so instead of swapping midi boards all the time at my feet I thought I'd just build something to set them on for when I'm in the studio recording I can use both of these together separate or whatever I can pull one off and put a different guitar processor on here whatever I need to do I wanted something that looks like furniture something that I could stain to match other pieces of studio furniture that I'm building and it turned out really well and it's super cheap um, the only downside really is that they're heavy I've built two of these one for my uh, Mesa rig so I have all my little pedals all over it and then I have this one um, to handle the studio uh, stuff so this one here is running my Boss GX700 that's mounted in my studio rack and this one is running the 11 rack unit and what I did with the Behringer was I bought the Eureka Prom 2 they have the Eureka Prom 3 out now and it has presets for all the popular you know Axe FX, 11 rack, the Boss GT100 a bunch of other ones that are out and it comes with the stickers and it configures your your Behringer unit for whatever unit you need it to work with without all that programming and gizmos and knowing your way around MIDI. Put that chip in there and it's very easy to set up. Put your stickers in place, you're ready to go. And it works really, really great. I'm really happy with the EEPROM chip. And this is my old standby um, FC200 that uh, Roland made many years ago back in the mid-90s. It runs my mid-90s uh, Boss 700 and I have all the labels for all the front panel switches that are on the rack unit are also right here so I can control them with my feet. So let's take a look at the back. Now I'm going to angle this up so you can see it better. What I've done is I've installed a wall power supply here with a, an access and a switch to turn on the entire unit. And then here you also have the USB ports. So if I needed to plug in a, an iPad or some kind of pad um, that's getting popular for single guys on cruise ships and things like that, they have a pad in front of them. They take requests and they play songs. So this is an idea that I got from my bigger pedal board, uh, my normal guitar rig. Um, so you have an extra outlet here. It allows you to use a short cord to your units. So you don't have these big tons of cords underneath it and the wiring of this is extremely simple it's really straightforward so and again these parts are not expensive you can find them on ebay and i just thought i'd paint the back panel black so it looked nicer and that's it it's a nice looking little rack little side view here cut the little angle piece there on the ends and breathing hard because this sucker's heavy <laughs> and I already have lung problems so yeah I build them big and I build them heavy and it'll last the rest of my life but it doesn't get moved around more than I'm doing right now once it's in place it's pretty much going to stay there unless I move my studio so thanks for watching I hope it kind of you know something I've been wanting to do and I know everybody's not everybody wants to go out and buy a pedal board and I wanted to build one, but I wanted to build one that was strong, will take a lot of pounding, and believe me, when you go with this wood, it takes the pounding. <laughs> and it doesn't cost very much for these. The uh, two by sixes are about 12 bucks a piece, and they're eight feet long, so you can get a couple boards on them. So thanks for watching. I hope it inspires you to create something. And um, I have a whole line of studio furniture I'm kind of building on my own here. So I hope that was helpful and please like and subscribe to the video and subscribe to the channel as we kick off another year coming up in a few hours. Take care and be safe out there.